Hi and welcome to my playhouse and just to let you know that I am on vacation now I have I, well when you're seeing this it's the very very last little bit of work actually just setting up mail response or something like that and then I'm on three weeks of vacation but that just means that I'm will be only maintaining one job and that's my YouTube job and well this is recorded the Friday before and on request I have uh, put on power on one of these boxes I started with the one with the two terabyte drives because that's the one I think that is the most interesting these are NetApp sand disk shells and they are the DS4243s and each there is two boxes here each of the boxes has 24 drives and I have connected those <laughs> let's go around the back I have a lot of cables here I've been trying a lot of stupid things to try and get this up and running but I had this ordinary um, HP lab it's not a laptop it's a desktop PC it's the DC 7800 I think it's actually on the side 7900 series and I popped in a adaptive adapter in that one and I did that because that has um, external outputs these um, weird cables here uh, we might just get a cable like that this is not it this is for connecting two boxes so that one we will put over here they are different see these they are both of them are long and here is another one where it has a long one and it has a short one this is like this long and that fits inside of the rate controller here and the long one fits inside these uh, disk shells so I have connected it down here and I've connected power to the disk shell, this shelf, and connected it up here to this um, rather awesome disk controller. I forgot to look up what what kind of a disk controller this is. Maybe we can go in and check that. Does it? Does it maybe brag about that somewhere? Oh, it doesn't really say what it is. I took it out of a Sun server, so it's a Sun branded Adaptic controller, so that might cloud it up a little bit. But um, it actually sees all these 24 drives down here. Those. And they're right there, and they're all Hitachi drive, 2 terabyte Hitachis. In my book, Hitachi drives has a really good reputation. I don't know how it looks in your book but there are 24 Hitachi drives here starting with number zero so I'm gonna start by initializing those because um, I actually kind of promised that when I got this controller so we will just select all the Hitachi drives and two, 24 and we'll press enter on that morning all these drives will be initialized and we will give it the big yes and it is initializing 24 drives um, it doesn't take that long it seems so awesome but we'll get back when it's done with that we're just about there yeah so now we can manage array create array initialize drive we already did that so we're gonna create an array D. And we have our 24 Hitachi drives there that we can select and do something with. Um, I'm just playing around here, so don't go all crazy in the comments below. So I think we will just try and make... Uh, let's just try and select them all and see what we get to choose. Oh, and to... Uh, it, it tells me here that there is two pages of drives 16 drives I have selected and there is a page 2 and down here it says that I have to hit page down to uh, select further and that's the 
insert button for selecting the drives. So now I have selected all 24 drives. So let's press enter and we get the options here. We can just ooh, create a volume. We can create a rate zero, 24 drives rate zero. What could possibly go wrong? We can create a rate 10, rate 50 or rate 60. Um, hmm. You know what? Just for fun and giggles, I think we should go with the rate zero here. We'll give it a, a label. Bad. That's a bad idea. Bad. And we get 43 tera 43 and a half terabytes out of that. Awesome. Stripe size. Yeah, terabytes is cool. Okay. Read cache, yes. Enable always, okay. Yes, yes. Are you sure? Yes. Built. Oh. Done. Okay, creating array. Is this gonna be interesting? That's, um. That's gonna be a desktop PC with a lot of storage. Okay, we're done. So let's just exit and exit. Do you wanna exit? Yes. And go out. I just connected this PC because that was very, very close. And I thought, well, I just needed a PC to see if this would work. I could have could have put in a server, but well, it's both more noisy and this was... I'm just testing here. And it's um, preparing the rate controller. Will be... It will become interesting to see the, the virtual drive pop up here. There it is. Oh, there is a change, apparently. Uh, Oh, we almost didn't see it, but it did see a 43 terabyte drive on this server. So let's uh, continue. Um, I probably need to go... Oh, and it booted again. Weird. Okay, it's running Windows 7 and I have not activated it. Sorry about that. Yes, yes, I know. Very interesting to see what it sees, if it sees anything. It might not have the driver for that rate controller, so right now it only has a C drive. Yes. Okay. It has actually found a disk number one. And it is rather big. So let's uh, check that out. <laughs> okay. It has like the first 2000. It has two terabytes there. And then it has. That's. That's. Can we. Weird. You might have to convert it to something else. Get it to one drive there. So, do we do we just need a symbol volume? I think so. Just have a symbol volume, 48 terabytes, um, 45.7 actually. But, well. but we do need a little space for our <coughs> anime tentacle pawn collection, right? So, um, yes, let's continue that NTFS only thing that it will run I'll just call this the big drive the that wasn't a good there the big drive next finish there we have it we are formatting a rather big drive cool let's see how that looks I have 
some fuller there and we have a rather big drive there 43.5 terabytes of storage always nice to have a little drive for some temp files um, should we go and try and do a benchmark I'm pretty sure someone will suggest that so I think I'll just download something to do a little benchmark okay I'm running a test here with crystal disk benchmark thing something and it's not doing that bad it was reading with 763 megabytes per second and writing with 669 megabytes per second well the drive stopped blinking here so I think it's about finish and this was the results um, I don't know it's probably okay the, the rate controller I think is only a 3 gigabit per second rate controller SAS controller and the shelf are 6 gigabits ish so that might be um, an issue uh, got another test program here install that create this to item yeah we don't Okay, so we'll try. Oh, we'll try and run that uh, at that ticker rate there. Let's start that and see where that goes. That says about 400 megabytes per second. Let's see how that. Let's see where that ends. Okay, that looks like this. So I wanna, I wanna borrow that. So we'll just borrow this with the snapping tool here. Save that, and I wanna compare it. I'll just try and run the test again with the internal really slow ordinary uh, desktop hard drive of 160 gigabytes so uh, <laughs> let's see how that performs this is how that looks so let's get this one up beside it so it's this is the hard drive and this is the storage array and I must uh, admit that I was mistaken, it, uh, this, the DS4243 only has a 3 gigabit SAS interface, not a 6 gigabit SAS interface. But let's see, minimum, maximum, so it's, well, you can, you can see the numbers, this is still better, but this is just testing uh, against one test where this should really be a lot better is when you have 20 people working on it uh, 20 people on this one would probably just <coughs> crash through the through the floor where this one should be able to handle that so this is just me playing around with the um, storage boxes let's see the storage boxes and the PC and stuff like that um, I would of course never configure this in a RAID 0 this is just for toying around with but um, I got it up and running awesome thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again give me that like in the bottom it's working you gotta like that have a nice day bye bye